This question says, what is the pressure exerted by a mixture of gases in a 12.0 liter container at 56.7 degrees Celsius if the mixture contains 0 0.200 moles of oxygen, 0 0.800 moles of methane, and 1.2 moles of sulfur dioxide? Well, um, it's asking for one pressure, and so what we might imagine is that this is uh, one container, and for gases, it's always nice if the container is a balloon, because that's something that gas gets put in. And uh, let's presume this balloon has volume of 12 liters, and we're at 56.7 degrees Celsius. And there's moles of O2, there's moles of CH4, and there's moles of SO2 in here. But as far as pressure goes, and as far as gases go, since all gases are ideal, that means that it's just, just add up the moles. All you need is the total moles, and then we're going to plug them into the ideal gas law. It's true you could get the partial pressure by using the moles of each of them, but since it's just looking for the pressure, or what we might call the total pressure, I'm just going to use all the moles. And I'm going to do this one by filling in the numbers and then doing the math. Pressure is what I'm solving for, so I will not know what that is. But I do know that my volume is 12.0 liters. My moles, remember, I'm going to add up all of these. So 0.2 plus 8 plus 1.2 is 2.2 moles. R, 0 0.08206. Liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And my temperature, well, it has to be in units of Kelvin. And my answer for pressure is going to be in units of uh, atmospheres. Let's see, so 56.7 plus 273. You don't have to use the 0.15, but since there's a tenth place in the temperature, I will this time. Oop. I get 329.85, and to three sig figs, that's just 330. So now I've got all my numbers in there. If I want to get P by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 12.0 liters. If I wanted to see how my units cancel out, I've got moles in the numerator and moles in the denominator of the numerator. I've got same thing for Kelvin, and I've got liters um, in the numerator, and then this is equivalent to the denominator as well. So my final units will be atmospheres. And my 12 liters cancel over there. I do enjoy canceling units. And then we have to multiply. So it's going to be 2.2 times 0 0.08206 times 330 divided by 12. And I get 4.96 atmospheres for my final pressure for this.